Imagine having the technology to tell you that you've got the flu even before you start to feel achy, run a fever, and have the chills. Well, that's the blue sky vision of a brand new government initiative that was announced here at this year's bioconvention. And to talk more about it, we're joined by Rick Bright, who is the director of the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, or thankfully, BARDA for short. Thanks for being here at the BioBus Center. Mike, thanks for having me. So what is DRIVE? That's the new acronym for this initiative that I just talked about. Well, Mike, we know that there are major problems in our healthcare system, major problems that require innovation to tackle. We know that innovation doesn't happen just inside the Beltway of Washington, D.C. So with DRIVE, we're changing the way government does business. We're making it easier to partner with BARDA and we're enlisting partners, accelerators, all across our country to open the garage doors across America that bring the best ideas to us so we can tackle these big healthcare challenges. And what specific challenges are you looking to focus on? Well, there are challenges from early stage notification of an infection, even before you have symptoms, as you mentioned. People are dying while they wait to know that they've been infected with a life-threatening disease, such as influenza, for example. People are dying and spreading the infection to other people along the pathway to healthcare. We want to push those diagnostics and those indicators into the home so people are aware they've been infected and they can take responsible action to get treated sooner when drugs are more effective and to stop the spread to others in their family or their church or their community to control the spread of that infection during a pandemic or other outbreak. All the way to the far end of the equation where where it's really challenging to deliver vaccines and drugs to a lot of people in a mass casualty event. That last mile, we can produce vaccines really well, and BARDA's worked for 10 years with industry to get 35 different FDA approvals for new drugs, and new vaccines, and diagnostics. What we're addressing now is how and when to use them and how to distribute them and address more people in that last mile. And you're also looking to get new ideas on how to treat sepsis, which is a very big problem, and also broader health problems at large, yes? Absolutely. Sepsis permeates every threat that we face as a nation, from a basic bacterial infection to a counter a, a attack from a bioterrorist with anthrax or a, a trauma that we might experience from a nuclear explosion or a radiation, believe it or not. Sepsis permeates people who are infected in the hospital from a typical urinary tract infection who are treated from some other things such as pandemic influenza with a secondary bacterial infection. All roads lead to sepsis and leads to death. And so, so Rick, what should people do if they've got an idea, if they have a seed stage company, a startup company that might be a good fit for DRIVE? What should they do? Well, Mike, that's what's exciting. We're making it easier to do business with government, as I said. We've announced and it's posted now a new Easy BAA, an Easy Broad Agency announcement. So the best ideas, all they have to do is submit an online application, 2,000 words or less, with their ideas. And we're hoping to turn around the reviews of those pro application proposals within 30 days so we can start funding those seed ideas. That's posted now at drive.hhs.gov on our website so you can learn all about us and the exciting work that we're doing. And the URL again, please? drive.hhs.gov, Rick, Rick Bright with BARDA. Thanks so much for joining us here Thank at you, the Mike. BioBus Center. Thank you.